Good morning. It's a beautiful day today. It's a little cooler this morning. Makes me excited. Like, maybe it's going to be fall after all. Maybe we won't have summer forever. Um, today, I want to talk about something that <clears throat> I think all of us, all of us deal with is temptation. Temptation. The, the little whisper of the devil in your ear to do something wrong. Um, it's something that I have dealt with a lot of the time. Uh, like if you're on a diet and they tell you, all right, you can't have chocolate cake. And you go and you make a chocolate cake and you sit it right there in front of you. Okay. Not a good idea. Just get it out in front of your face. Just, you know, pluck your eye out if it causes you to sin, what the, the Bible says. Um, get, get stuff away from you that's, uh, causing you to feel like I need to do this. I need to do this. Um, the devil will, uh, lay snares for us. It's a trap. It's a trap. You know, he uses our weaknesses against us, but there is hope. There is hope in the word of God. First Corinthians 10, 13. It's a pretty popular, uh, verse. But uh, no temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful. Who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. So if you call out to God, it, when you feel like you, you know, like if you were on drugs and you got off of them. And it's always that thought in your head. It's always, well, I could just do it one more time. I could just do it one more time. And But you know that it wouldn't be just one more time. You would always be chasing that first high. Um, and the same with, like, if you used to have a problem with, you know, with women or men, you know, and you feel, and you're married now, and you feel like, well, what if I just, you know... Start talking to this one or start talking to that one. But you know that it would lead to something else. Come to the Word of God. Read what it says. It will give you strength. And call out to God. Like, I can't do this by myself. I feel, I feel like, and just be honest with God. He already knows anyway. Just be honest with Him and say, Lord, I feel, I am so, I want to, I feel like I need to do this. But I know it's not your will for me it's not sin is never you know god's will for us and it will take you farther than you want to go and you'll pay a price higher than you ever thought you'd pay and you know in the back of your mind you're like i know this will destroy me but you still have these thoughts and you know that it's the devil you have to know that because he likes to lay these traps for us and he comes in our mind first you know, you have to hold every thought captive and, and bring down the strongholds by this right here. This is the sword of the spirit. And if you're not reading it, you're not living it, you will. When you face a temptation, you don't come to God with it. We, we don't have the power within ourselves. We don't have the strength within ourselves uh, to, to overcome things. But we can overcome by this right here. By the blood of the Lamb, the word of our testimony. Remember what he, he did for you before. Like if you you feel like, you know, if you were an alcoholic and you feel like, I need a drink. I just, you know, you can remember what it tastes like. You remember what it smells like. You remember how it made you feel. But you know that it wouldn't be just one drink. You would know it would take you into a whole lifestyle that you used to live. And you're trying to walk forward. So, you know, I've asked God to use my life as a witness so you know that if i'm coming to you saying something to you that i've lived it that's why i can say it with so much confidence is because i've lived it and i know how it feels and i know that he will make a, a way of escape and he will give you so much strength if you come to him and say lord i have this uh these thoughts in my head please help me take these thoughts from me and take it from your mind whatever it is stop doing that Delete the number out of your phone. <laughs> I love you all. I hope this helps somebody today. Be blessed in Jesus' name.